The numbers, Mason. What do the numbers mean? Hello, everyone. My name is Veritas. Welcome back to Dasi. Now, this little uh, memorial nonsense and strange symbol here means that Zer, the uh, agent of nine, the mysterious exotic merchant who sells things on the weekends, uh, has arrived. Specifically in the tower. He's over in Tower North again. Uh, across from the speaker this week in front of the large mysterious door that we don't know what is behind and with Destiny 2 quickly approaching we may actually never know what's behind this door it's a mystery for the ages and uh, well I'm not here to talk about that I'm here to talk about what Zer has what possible wonderful things that this little man with the tentacle face has selling for us Alright, let's see what we've got going on here. We have exotic gear. Ooh, armor piece. That's interesting. Legacy armor here, body armor, engram. That's always fun when they sell armor from these things. They don't usually do that, as far as I recall. Uh, this will turn into a year one chest piece, so have fun with that if you need something from year one. 29 strange coins for a 170 light maximum chest piece. So if you're missing something from your collection, if you need something from your collection, uh, go ahead and pick this up, otherwise I would steer clear of this. It's expensive as heck. Moving to the Titan Exotic this week, we have Immolation Fists, one of the more... Eh, it's okay, but it's slightly useless exotic slots. Um, the Titan has much better alternatives, like the Dune Marchers, so I wouldn't recommend picking these up. The roll doesn't look too perfect. Uh, that strength is maximum, but the uh, intellect is very much not. Probably a mid-90s roll there, if not low. Probably like 94%. It's on screen now. I'm not going to try to guess too much. This has uh, explosive pyre, or whatever this is called. Accelerant. Accelerant. Uh, unlocks the Sunbreaker subclass node explosive pyre for free. Enemies brought down by your hammer explode, chaining fiery solar damage to other enemies nearby. Uh, increase intellect and strength on these. Rain blows, impact induction, pulse loader, and fusion loader there for you. Uh, I believe these are technically a strength-based uh, exotic. I want to believe they're strength-based, so they'll always have strength when re-rolled. Not entirely sure on that one. It might be intellect because it's a super thing. Not entirely sure on that one. You can figure that out on Bungie.net. Knucklehead Radar is the Hunter exotic this week. Decent roll here, actually. Probably low 90s again. Um, this is quite a useless exotic nowadays though there's actually an uh, iron lord artifact that does just this the memory of gellion actually does uh what this helmet does so if you want to save your exotic slot for something more useful like anything else besides this uh go for it you know celestial nighthawk um or the silahamkar's grass anything like that for your hunter go ahead and pick those up instead or use those instead rather Sensor pack, radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons, so you get to keep your primary weapon, um, you know, when you're scoped in, you get to keep your radar active, which is really useful for something like the Crucible, uh, that's when I use Memory of Gellion, I pop that on in the Crucible, because it's actually quite helpful to have your radar uh, when aiming down sights. Increase intellect and strength here, inverse shadow and ashes to assets, as well as better already. This has a strength and intellect roll. I believe it'll always have intellect. I'm not entirely sure. This one might actually be completely random. I'm not, again, sure. Bungie.net for your questions there. The last thing exotic-wise for classes is the Obsidian Mind. The exotic for the Warlock. This thing has a relatively decent roll. Again, probably low 90s. Um, Nova Bomb reduces cooldown of next Nova Bomb. Now, that might sound like a stupid person writing that. Uh, but it's actually Nova Bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next Nova Bomb, insatiable. So the more kills you get with your Nova Bomb, the more your super regenerates from that. Uh, usually when you cast a super, um, the kills with the super don't go towards your next super charge, uh, but with this they do. This is one of the few super abilities actually that can actually do that since it's an instantaneous thing. Kind of like a Fist of Havoc and stuff like that. So it's a pretty useful exotic if you're trying to farm super kills and things along those lines. Otherwise, it's kind of useless in terms of what it really does. Um, in practice, it's very hard to get enough kills to even make a difference with this helmet. But uh, Intellect and Discipline here, as well as Ashes to Assets, Second Thoughts, and Invigoration. I believe this will always have Intellect as it's a technically a super based uh, exotic piece of armor so go ahead and pick that up if you want it I don't recommend it but it's there if you need it for your collection the weapon this week is the trespasser sidearm arc damage here well with the current nerfs to uh, sidearms it's special weapons in general uh, the current crucible fuckings of the uh, ammo pool this is kind of a useless exotic for its perk um, for PvE, it's fine, but there are much better alternatives in PvE to use when you would use an arc secondary, so I don't recommend picking it up unless you need it for your collection. 
Um, with Like I said, with the current nerf to the Crucible, this is where that thing shined. The, the Trespasser was very good in the Crucible until they fucked special ammo, and I'll explain exactly what that means in a second. Be the Danger, this weapon fires bolts, uh, bursts of bullets with deadly accuracy, so it's much more accurate than most guns. Then we go over here to Fast Draw, you know, Steady Hand, Sure Shot. I'd recommend Sure Shot on this, it's probably the best scope in the game. Uh, Relentless Tracker kills with this weapon, grant enhanced motion tracker resolution for a short time, so it makes it, you know, your, your motion tracker is much more precise. Uh, hand loaded reinforced barrel quick draw. I would probably go with uh, reinforced barrel. Um, you have a lot of stability anyway. Maybe even hand loaded. Just extra range and accuracy is very helpful. Um, then unrepentant is where this thing would used to shine, but now is kind of crippled. Reloading after a kill grants the next burst to uh, be a longer, more powerful super burst. What that means is you shoot stronger and more bullets basically um, the problem with this is this relies on you having bullets uh, or ammo in reserve and uh, with how the crucible works now when you die you come back with just a clip and no reserve ammo so unless you've picked up special this is kind of useless like a lot of um, like a lot of the other you know sidearms in the game it basically makes this thing just an exotic wasted slot for your special slot when you could be using a legendary hand uh, legendary sidearm and getting you know the same kind of deal I don't recommend picking it up. If you want it for other reasons, go ahead. If you don't care about that, go ahead. It also has two ornaments, Fallen Assassin, which is pretty terrible looking, and then Crucible Assassin, which is much nicer, and uh, kind of kind of hones in on what this is really meant for, even though the special ammo economy has been screwed to the point where you can't actually use it anymore. All right, moving down to weapon bundles this week, we have the Invective with Storm's Reproach and the Telesto with Lingering Vestige. The Invective is an exotic shotgun that regenerates ammo slowly over time and can shoot in full auto, as well as has final round, I believe. And the Telesto shoots lingering bolts like a fusion rifle, but they land and detonate after a short period of time, and double kills cause you to have increased you know, movement speed, and they regenerate orbs. Uh, pretty neat there. Storm's Reproach and Lingering Vestige, both decent ornaments for these weapons. Pick them up if you want them. Moving down to Kiros this week, we have the Plasma Drive and the quote-unquote Emerald Coil because consistency is number one here at Bungie. These can be used to upgrade vehicles, so rare quality sparrows you can buy from the Vanguard and Crucible Quartermaster for 175 legendary marks each. Uh, can be uh, upgraded with these to make a blue or green trail respectively. They also make the sparrow into a legendary sparrow. Counting as a different one for your kiosk. Have fun with that if you so choose to do so. Moving into heavy ammo synthesis, we have 3 for 1 and 10 for 3. 10 for 3 is technically a better deal. Always do this. This can be used to trade into factions for faction reputation. Those packages drop up to 400 light now. Enjoy. Or they can do what they're meant to, which is to instantly replenish heavy ammunition uh, while in combat. So the Crucible does not count. Have fun with those. Three of Coins are a stackable effect consumable. What this means is when you use one, you have a small percentage chance for the next Ultra you kill or Crucible match you complete to drop an exotic engram. If you don't get one from that Ultra slash Crucible match completion, use another Three of Coins. Continue using them and doing the things it says to do until you get a thing to drop. Uh, you might never get one, you might get one every time. The chances increase the more you use them and don't get a reward, so don't use five at once. That's not how that works. And finally, we have glass needles, a rather end game material. This can be used to reroll exotic armors, so if you find something you like but you don't like the perks, stat rolls, or anything like that on it, you can use these. Uh, an example of that would be this Obsidian Mind. If you don't like the fact that it's got, you know, nearly okay stats, you can go ahead and twist the fate. It'll change where these stats are allocated, how much is allocated to each. Uh, it'll change, you know, the perks around down here. Some pieces of armor can and can't have certain perks and stats. Uh, some armors will always have certain stats as well. Um, so, like, a super-based one like this will always have intellect and, you know, things along those lines. The uh, Void Fang vestments are a grenade-based chess piece, so they'll always have discipline. Things along those lines. Material exchange down here. Motes of Light. This is the worst conversion rate in the game. Never use it. And exotic shards, seven strange coins here. I will show you quickly how to duplicate these for a much cheaper, in a much cheaper way. Uh, go ahead and pick one of these up if you need it. Uh, if you need more than one, I'll show you how to do that. But that's where he is. That's what he has. I recommend nothing he's selling this week. Um, they're all relatively okay stat rolls. I don't think anything's below 90, but I could be wrong. That was on screen as I was going through those. Uh, Trespasser, like I said, pretty useless in PVE and for PVP purposes. Uh, the, you know, special ammo economy has been nerfed so heavily that it's, you know, it's exotic slot, uh, relevancy has been, you know, just basically, it's non-existent. Uh, so if you want to know how to make more exotic shards out of one exotic shard, uh, follow me over here to the weapon kiosk and I will show you how to do just such a thing. So what you're going to want to do is go in here and pick up a year two heavy weapon, uh, 
uh, your you know a current year heavy weapon. I like to use the truth rocket launcher. It seems to be the most simple to do. There's no like you know nonsense. I don't believe swords work for this. So you can use like a nemesis star. You can use a truth. Uh, just know that uh, I think swords don't work. So don't try it with those. Uh, what you need now is to either have a class item that increases rocket launcher upgrade rate or go to the gunsmith and pick up a heavy telemetry for 250 glimmer both of which are the exact same thing i'm going to use um i'm going to use a class item as opposed to a telemetry because this is free and that isn't uh along with the radiant light buff you get for completing this week's nightfall increases experience gains as well as reputation gains by 25 percent so with the rocket launcher upgrade rate increase and the 25 percent bonus to experience gains this rocket launcher will be fully upgraded in roughly five modes of light so we'll use five of these without the radiant light buff it takes six uh, so be mindful of that just the nightfall makes you take one less here it is full of experience go ahead and take this off then and go ahead and dismantle that uh, your one exotic shard you purchased from Zero for Seven Strange Coins will now turn into two exotic shards as well as some moats, weapon parts, and glimmer back for you there. A much cheaper alternative since glimmer is the only limiting factor here for the weapon kiosk. It takes one exotic shard and 2,500 glimmer to reprint an exotic that you've already obtained, which is much cheaper than finding seven strange coins. Glimmer is very easy to find, where strange coins are not. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for this week. Hope that was helpful in some way. Enjoy your weekend with Zer and all the things like that. I will see you guys on Tuesday for the weekly reset video. If you want to see other things I'm doing solo or co-op, links in the descriptions to other series I am currently or have been doing in the past. Uh, Twitter and Twitch links as well down there. I'm playing Outlast 2 right now, and I'm bad with horror games, so that's a freaking interesting situation. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and watch that if you want to. Link in the description and on screen at the end and around, you know, now-ishly anyway. Uh, that's going to be it for me, though. See you on Tuesday for the weekly reset video. And, uh, yee. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, very much appreciated. And as always, until next time.